Dak was amazing. Mm. Dak Prescott was amazing. The passing offense was great. And I'd say the offense is over a whole. I mean, everyone was saying that Zeke didn't get a lot of carries. Zeke blocked his butt off. Zeke was yes, great in the blocking game yesterday, keeping Dak upright. Um, the quote that Bruce Arians had after the game about Dak was awesome. It was, I've known Dak a long time. I have so much respect for him as a person and as a man and what he did at Mississippi State. Just a tremendous football player and a tremendous leader. It's yeah. just a shame he had to play Tom Brady tonight. Yeah. And the respect, about. and I think we all feel that way. Mm. Dak's courage to go out there coming off the ankle surgery, coming off the shoulder injury, and then in his first action of 300 days, to have that chemistry with those wide receivers, guys, it's scary. If that's week one, what's going to happen week two, week three? Look at some of these action that, I mean, we would mentioned Amari had a crazy, crazy statistical night, but it was also Gallup. It was also CeeDee Lamb. He also got the tight ends involved. There was no sign of rust. There was no sign of no rhythm. And it just leads more to what I say every summer when we hype up these preseason games. The preseason to me does not matter. As long as these guys are practicing and as long as they are playing together, I don't need to see Dak throw 40 passes in a preseason game. He was awesome last night. It was the first time he's thrown a ball against live hitting from another team all season. And he showed me that this guy is ready to go. And guess what? They lost. Yeah, they lost by two to the champs in their building. That's gonna happen. Look at their next few opponents. There is no reason this Cowboys team cannot come out of the next two months being really good. Mm -hmm. These are the squads they play. They play at the Chargers. But let me be honest with you guys, if we're calling it like it is, that's going to be a Cowboys home game in Los Angeles, all right? It will be. (laughs) That's just what it is. There's a lot of Cowboys fans out there, and they'll show up. Eagles, Panthers, Giants, Patriots, Vikings, Broncos, Falcons. None of those teams made the playoffs last year. a winning team there. (laughs) They they played well last night. They had it going on on offense. They'll fix out things. They'll figure out the kinks. I think you got to be really happy if you're a Cowboys fan. And Dak, hats off to you. You Mm -hmm. showed everyone that Mm -hmm. you were ready to go. Yeah, I was wrong about Dak. I thought that they would kind of you know, ease him into throwing the football. But, I mean, the first pass play, you, you, you talked about it the last hour, was it was a deep bomb to, to C.D. Lamb. Uh, he seemed comfortable. He had the chemistry with everybody. Um, I do think the running game is going to have to show up at some point. You can't just go every single game throwing the ball 58 times um, and expect to win a lot of a lot of football games in the National Football League. I just don't think that the Dallas Cowboys are built that way to go back and forth like that, especially defensively. Now you look at defensively, they gave up they gave up some yards. Okay, mm-hmm. they gave up some yards to Tom Brady. You're not playing Tom Brady every single week, but they did give up some yards. You're going to have to have the run game if you want the Dallas Cowboys to win a division like I've, like I've predicted. You're going to have to have Ezekiel Elliott, mm-hmm. Tony Pollard, that offensive line start to move, guys, because if you don't, you're going to continue to be one and four or one or whatever in the red zone, which is not good. Situational football is how you win games in this league, and you're not going to be great on third down. You were decent on third down last night, but you weren't great on third mm-hmm. down. So um, they have some issues to fix. But the arrow's pointing up for the Dallas Cowboys, especially offensively. And I think it'll be pointing north and south next week. I do. I think they'll run. I think they'll do what you're talking about. I think this is bizarro Cowboys, and I really respected it. I, the Bucks won the game they deserved to, but my game ball, other than that, would go to the Cowboys coaching staff and Kellen Moore, because there's a thing that co- football coaches do, and it's uh, toughness through ignorance, and it's not, we, we stick to our game. No one dictates what we do. We run. This is who we are. No, that's stupid. You'll lose that game. <laughs> the Cowboys knew who they were and who they weren't in that game. We don't have our best player. This is the best Front, we're gonna go inside all year. We're not gonna run for squat. Screw it. We're gonna throw all the stuff outside. We're gonna do screens. We're gonna work the sidelines and get away from that meat grinder of Devin White, Lamont to David. Coaches make that mistake all the time. Tony Dungy, who was great on the broadcast last night, has said for years, we got so tough and we kicked it to Devin Hester in the Super Bowl because we're not afraid of anybody. Yeah, right. We should have been. And it was yeah, a dumb right. mistake, and thank God you won the Super Bowl. The Cowboys didn't make that last night. Do you know how hard it is for them to say, I know we got Zeke, and we pay him about $18 million a quarter. Yeah. We're not going to use him. Yeah. We're not going to run. Screw it. We're going to throw, and we're going to throw with our quarterback on a broken leg. It was the right call. It was Art of War stuff. But I do believe next week at the Chargers, Zeke will have a lot of action, and it'll probably work. And Tony Pollard, who you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, oh, I love like, Pollard. He looks really good, right? He looks a little unstable. Don't you wish they'd run it a little bit more at the end of the game to not leave that man, Tom Brady, some time? It could be, yeah. And see, that's the thing. That's situa- that's I don't know. situation. I know what you're football. saying. Like, that's what, what you do. But, like, stuff. it wasn't there all game. I know. They was amazing. Like, Vita Vail, Vita was everywhere. Just eating people. And what do you think? Drop the groceries. Drop the groceries. Yeah. 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 Drain a blade of grass.